Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks and welcome back today to some more tank requests and today I've done something slightly different for a couple of reasons. Um, last video, very disappointed guys, only two people voted on tanks, one was the tank that I didn't have and the other was the T95. And even more disappointing, neither of, neither of them got any votes at all, so... Yeah, it kind of sucks a bit. Um, so make sure you go vote on what tank you want to see next, guys. Simply write a um, tank in the comments and then give other comments whilst you're down there. Thumbs up for me. And I'll play the most voted for next time. So what I've decided to do today, as no tank's got any votes, and the only tank that I had that got voted for was the T95, I've decided I'm going to play the T30. Now I know, Max, what, what, what how? But... I haven't got a crew in the T95, I haven't got any equipment in the T95, and I'm coming up to getting close to a lot of tanks, so I can't really afford to re-equip it again. But obviously, I thought, I'm going to keep it kind of close, so I'll play a tier 9 American um, tank destroyer, and it's obviously got the same gun as well. So, you know, it's it's kind of, it's not the same tank, because they both play very differently, but it's a tank that I, l I enjoy playing, I'm grinding through at the minute, so it'll be nice to play a couple of games in it. And it'll be a nice tank to do a tank request on, because I don't know if it would get voted for any other way. So yeah, T30 we're playing today, guys. Gets a 155mm gun. I mean, you can play it with a 120mm gun, or the 105mm gun. If you play it with a 105mm gun, you're a T29. If you play it with a 120mm gun, you're a T34. If you play it with a 155mm gun, you're a T30. That's my opinion. Um, and I think historically, I think there might have been some differences in the um, suspension and stuff, but pretty much that's what it was. This tank was mounted with those three guns and given three different designations. So, yeah, play with a 155mm gun on this tank. Uh, it has a tragic rate of fire, really, really, really slow, but, you know, it does 750 average damage. Can't really complain about that. Very good penetration at 276. Dispersion's alright, it's not great, and I do find that it trips me up quite a lot at um, 0.37, and 2.9 seconds aim time as well is not particularly great. I use a rammer, vents, and uh, gun lane drive, premium consumable, and yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty good tank, I do enjoy it, 10 degrees gun depression, it's very nice with a 155mm gun, you just take big chunks out of people pretty much, and... Yeah, kind of play it a bit like a heavy tank, but just with high alpha damage. So yeah, that's basically all you need to know about the T30, guys. It's just all around that big 155mm gun. Um, and like I said before, make sure you go vote on what tank you want me to play next, guys. Um, it can be any tank in my garage. I've got 141 in there at the minute. If you want to know what I've got in my garage, there is a um, tank list down in the description. Just simply click through there, and it takes you through to a Google document. It's got every single tank that I've got on it. And the rules of what you can and can't pick for tank requests as well. But yeah, other than that, let's go jump into the gameplay, guys. Right, so here we go. First game in, and we've got Lakeville, which is not a great map for this tank, I'm going to be honest. There's no artillery, so I'm probably going to take the T30 down the valley, use the 10 degrees of gun impression that this tank has. Yeah, like I say, it's a very, very nice tank in terms of... Um, a gun and tank and just still just still 1.0 guys it's still like oh looks so good and I'm still all the time just looking around the map just like how tall that is it just looks awesome but yeah this is my actually my first tank request of patch 1.0 so yeah let's see what we can do let's make it a good one let's see if we can get an ace maybe I doubt it but we'll give it a go Type 5 is coming this way, it's always good. Mm, do you mind, dude? Because I'll shoot you and that will hurt a hell of a lot more than it does you shooting me. Yeah, the T30 is not actually that slow. It's not like, you know, the T95, which is painfully slow. Okay, I think the Super Conqueror is going to be coming to the valley. Conqueror, probably. Lover. Everything that's not spotted. I probably would think is coming to the valley. Fortunately, we fortunately we do have a Type 5 Heavy down here. There we go, look at that. Yag Tiger, I'm not too sure about. Yag Tiger might be sitting back here, I don't know. But if he is over here, it doesn't really matter. I've got such high penetration on my gun. It really does not matter. 
Well, that was a lucky snapshot. Really? The T-30's turret is beautiful. But apparently, snapshot shot in Conquerors. Yes, Type 5. This is where you really need really good armor because, oh my. Seriously? 162. Let's see if we can. Thank you! Seven hundred ninety seven. Let's get this conqueror out. This guy is so lucky. So, 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 so lucky. It's the third shot he's managed to get into my roof. I've now got HE loaded. And the revelries over with HE. Oh no, sorry. Type got there before me, let's go. So you can see 300 damage with HE is not too bad, but that would have been 700 if we'd have had AP loaded. It was just I loaded HE because that bloody conqueror. There's the super conk. Like he's crashed. I'm still going to put a shot into him just in case he uncrashes. Because that is obviously a very, very dangerous tank. One into the Century 7 1. The reload again. Don't know if I've got the reload over this guy or not. Superconk. Still worth. Wow, we're winning 7 0. Okay, well, this game's gone well. Haven't done too badly. I mean, that Conqueror got so goddamn lucky. Yeah, go on then, 150, 120. Here's your. Good. There we go. E75's fired. We just saw the. Got the upper plate of the Lerva. Don't need to. With this amount of penetration, you sometimes forget that you can just pen. Pen things that you you didn't even really think about. Have a bounced. Seven nine two. Seventy five fires. And f uh, f unfortunately, fortunately for me, he doesn't quite high roll by it. Uh, he doesn't roll high enough to be able to finish me off. He should finish him off. Tiger's kicking butt over there, isn't he? Christ. That wasn't a bad game. 4,800 damage is pretty good. Uh, I'm just annoyed at, well, some of them have disappeared, but the amount of bloody shots that went through my roof from that Conqueror. That's upsetting, that is. It sucks. Anyway, first class, that's pretty good. Uh, top on the team, me and that Type 5. Stomped the valley. Stomped it. I mean, if their Super Conqueror wouldn't have crashed or been AFK, then possibly that would have been a different story that game. But he was, so we do what we need to do. The trig reroll on the enemy team. 2k games. 3600 W8. See, I don't mind rerolls like that so much, because at least you know they've done it properly. Um. I'm half tempted to just go to the middle, you know, try and shoot across. Because this is the thing, the T-30 is more like a heavy tank than it is a tank destroyer, but it you can't really play it like a traditional heavy tank, like as in you can go into a city, because you can't side scrape, side armor's crap, and you can't just go front along because the upper plate and lower plate are just crap. 
Like tier 7s can pen the lower plate, tier 6s can pen the lower plate, tier 8s and 9s can pen the upper plate easily, tier 7s kind of 50 50. But then obviously you've got this beast of a turret. Like I say, the tank's not massively slow. I always thought it was a lot slower than this, but it's really not. I'm hoping to spot some Type 4s going across and I can get a couple of shots in. That'd be absolutely gorgeous if I can. Absolutely gorgeous. I was really hoping somebody would spot something across here. Oh, there we go. 690. Nice. Hopefully we'll reload in time to hit this guy. We might not, actually. Might be able to get him here. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I th think that would have gone in. Not 100%, but I think so. It's 705 and... 705A and 907 need... Nice! Oh, I was so hoping he was going to burn then. Still, not too shabby. There's no hoe over there. I think I should have some easy shots at this guy. Just be careful. I mean, he's kind of fallen back now. If he comes back up again, I should have some nice easy shots though. coming up. I'm still quite worried about these these guys over here, the 705 and the 907, the objects. No, 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 no. I could have shot him. My 430 you got in the way. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? How did I not kill the 907? Oh, it's alright, the 1390s died instead. Wow, that's funny. I'd have preferred to have killed the 907 there. Not gonna lie. Oh, really? Oh, really? Ramatar right, Borsig using the 150mm gun, firing heat. Well, it didn't surprise me, it's a good play using the 150mm gun, he was always going to be firing heat. But what does surprise me is he's using the 150mm gun in the first place. How do I bounce off that guy twice? Seriously. He's living on borrowed time, he is. Is that guy really 3,600 W and 8? Interesting. Alright, this is going too soon. Oh, oh, hi. Stay there, Rojo. Stay there. Stay. Stay. Oh, I was gonna... I kind of snapshot it. Let's hope the Oho makes a mistake again. Like that. What? This is the thing about the T-30. Sometimes it's just... It really does not want to does not want to hit things. Stay, stay, stay. Nice, nice burn. Yes, good. Nice, 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 nice. 
907 is still alive. He got so lucky earlier. I think I bounced off him twice. I've still got to be a bit careful with the 705A. And obviously I'm still very aware that there's a Borsig over this side as well. Five A and nine O seven need to die really. Like I say, this nine O seven is just so lucky. Like, a hey, firstly, I'm just worried about the ball signal. Oh, the 705A got me when I was trying to back off. That's unfortunate, that is. Um, but yeah, I should that should never have happened, because that 907 should have been dead. Firstly, because I thought I killed him when I killed the 1390. Secondly, I bounced... Oh, no! This could have been such a good game! Oh, why was he still on... Oh, 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 oh. If I could have just fallen back, I could have repositioned to here, and that was two shots right there, and oh, oh, guys, guys, sh no, not fair, it's still 3,200 damage, it's not too shabby, um, we, I think we hit, well, we definitely hit one blind shot on the 1390, I think we hit another one on one of the type 4s, but that is just gutting, because we should have hit the Oho as well. We, that should have been—we should have been up to about 5k damage, I reckon, this game, with still a lot of hit points left. So yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, but can't be helped. Um, yeah, I think this game is a loss. Anyway, guys, we'll jump back into the garage, and I'll show you the post-game stats once this game is finished. So yeah, let's go do that. Right, so there we go, guys. Unfortunately, our team couldn't win that one. That is annoying. How much did we do to that? 260, and we did hit one of those blind shots against the Type 4s. But that's just so irritating that... Well, we didn't... What did we roll for that? Oh, if we'd have rolled average on that guy, that guy would have been dead. I mean, I know it's all ifs. And obviously, that 907 should have died quicker, which meant that guy didn't shouldn't have even had the opportunity to kill us because we, sh we this guy should have been dead, so we didn't have to expose ourselves to take the shot. But, yeah, oh, look at those guys. Gosh darn it. If we could have just killed that guy a lot sooner, maybe he wouldn't have done so much damage, or if we'd have managed to, um, didn't low roll so much on that guy, he might not have gone on to do as much as well, but... Yeah, that's pretty much the T30, guys. You take massive chunks out of people. It's not ridiculously slow, which is quite nice. It's got good turret armor until a Conqueror just starts shooting you in the roof, apparently. And, yeah. So, like I said before, guys, make sure you go vote on what tank you want me to play next. Obviously, very, very important for the series to carry on. Simply leave a comment in... Uh, leave Just leave a comment on what tank you want me to play. And then I will play the most vote for tank next time. So, make sure you give other tanks thumbs up as well. Other than that, if you have enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like, guys. I really, really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And other than that, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.